I'm Leo Warder for Kick Guru, and this is PC Specialist Leviathan X, an epic gaming PC, and certainly the biggest and baddest PC I've ever got my mitts on. Uh, it centers around a pair of uh, Pascal Titan X graphics cards, um, which is a huge amount of money and uh, contributes directly to the uh, price of £3,900, but you do get a huge amount of PC for your cash. Question is, what can you do with that sort of gaming hardware? Well, to demonstrate, we've hooked it up to this uh, Dell U2715K display, which is a 5K display. Uh, when Zardon reviewed um, Titan X just recently, and specifically again Pascal, because uh, Nvidia's kept the name Titan X from previous generations, which is a little bit vexing, this is Pascal, the latest graphics card. Um, he said it was the first uh, true 4K gaming graphics card he'd actually got his mitts on, and he was quite correct. The figures were just uh, immense. So what we've done here is we've, uh, we've got two of those, so it makes sense to bump up the uh, pixels. Now, 5K may not sound like much more than 4K, but it is. Full HD is basically 2 megapixel. 4K uh, is 8 megapixel. 5K, specifically 5120 by 2880, uh, is described as 5K by 3K, 5000 by 3000. That's 15 megapixel. Pixel. So this 5K display is pretty much double the pixels of a 4K display, and therefore it is a lot harder for your graphics to drive along. Let's see how it does. What we've got here is GTA 5, the standard benchmark. We've cranked all the settings up in the usual Kit Guru style, but we've left anti-aliasing off. I did try it anti-aliasing, and it does work. It actually requires, would you believe, 21 gigabytes out of the 24 on the two graphics cards, 12 each. Uh, and it chugs along very nicely. Um, it runs about 40 FPS, looks great, but that's not really too impressive on screen. So, I've knocked off anti-aliasing, and you can watch that while I yak at you. So uh, this is GTA 5 with all the eye candy at 5K, which is very possibly something you haven't seen before, unless you've got, um, if you're watching this on your phone actually on YouTube, I mean, good luck to you. So the, uh, the system, from the top, we've got a Corsair Obsidian 750 case. Uh, the processor is Intel Core i7-6850K, which is six cores, overclocked to 4.25 gigahertz. Uh, that's broadly. Motherboard is a Zeus ROG Strix X99E. The cooling system at the top of the case, uh, Corsair Hydro H100IV2. That's a 240 mil liquid cooler. 32 gig HyperX Savage DDR4 3000 memory backing that up, which is plenty. Despite the fact we have occasionally seen laptops with 64 gig. I think the fact is works, works very nicely with 32 gig tells the tale. Uh, then we've got the two 12 gig uh, NVIDIA Titan X Pascal graphics cards, which obviously are the meat and drink of this system. And down the bottom, powering the whole thing, Corsair 1000 watt RMX power supply uh, is gold rated. We gave that a, um, a must have on uh, Kit Guru a while back. There's a 480 gigabyte HyperX Savage SSD powering thing, and then a two terabyte Western Digital Black to give you extra capacity for all your games. So plenty of absolutely everything. Runs Windows 10, three-year warranty. Um, absolutely nothing to complain about whatsoever. Now, you may be looking at this and thinking to yourself, well, I could build that. And very possibly you're correct. If I put the pile of bits in front of you, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to build the system. And indeed, there are other system builders who, the likes of 8-Pack springs to mind, who um, will sell you an immensely expensive PC using all the latest hardware. The funny thing is, the PC Specialist is one of only two system builders in the UK allowed to build systems with Titan X. Uh, this is what NVIDIA tells us. So as things stand, if you want this system, you're pretty much obliged to go to the likes of PC, PC Specialist. Uh, whether you could actually get the bits yourself and then build your own system, that, that's a little bit less certain. But other system builders are basically out of the uh, equation. Anyway, I think we can agree that uh, GTA 5 at 5K chugs along very nicely and looks absolutely gorgeous. And you turn off the power, the green LEDs go out, and it's suddenly really boring. Very tidy build, all kind of monochrome inside, and just no bling. The power of this gaming PC is just absolutely epic. Dual Pascal Titan X is wah. Uh, on the subject of power, actually, with um, SLI enabled, the system draws 165 watts idle, uh, 235 to 280 watts in regular benchmarks, 500 watts when you're running 3D mark, which obviously is a bit of a stress test. And if you really load everything in um, A to 64, 650 watts. So on the one hand, that means the 1000 watt power supply is absolutely ideal. Uh, and on the other hand, that's a lot of juice. I'm not fussed about the cost of electricity. It's just like, that's a lot of power equals a lot of heat. 
Uh, on the other hand, it's, it's all going somewhere because by goodness me, does it push those pixels around the screen. So what do I think of PC Specialist Leviathan X? Well, it, uh, I mean, it, it, the performance is just unbelievable. If you're thinking of playing 1080 or 1440, forget about it. If you're not going to 4K, then you're missing a major, major trick and a good 4K display at that. Uh, I personally think that 5K uh, makes an awful lot of sense for this system uh, because if you want 4K, one Titan X will probably do the trick. Uh, but if you've got two, 5K and just enjoy that experience because it is just wonderful. Uh, you are pretty much obliged to go to PC Specialist for a system like this because Titan X's are so thin on the ground and they have access to the hardware. I like what they've done with this system. I like it a great deal. Uh, clearly, what I really want to see is some uh, aftermarket water blocks on those GPUs and a custom loop, uh, partly to bling it up and partly to get temperatures down because it does get toasty. Um, CPU temperature went up uh, very little uh, because you'd expect that, uh, went up to 60 under major load um, and that could be helped with a custom loop but compared to um, regular LJ 11.5X that, that's pretty good. Uh, GPUs on the other hand they're around the uh, mid 80s, 83 and 84 under extreme Dream load. Uh, they idle at 40, 44, and then they go up to the 80s. I'd like to see those temperatures come down just because I want this sort of hardware to last a long time. And you have to think that lower temperatures, apart from helping performance, giving you the opportunity to overclock, is also going to make your hardware last longer. And when you're paying this much money for hardware, that's a good thing. So, as things stand, using stock Titan X's, uh, this is a spot on, really impressive system. There is the potential to go further with the cooling and the bling, uh, and I look forward to seeing that at some point, hopefully. But as things stand, PC Specialist Leviathan X is the pinnacle of gaming performance and truly amazing. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. Uh, uh, click to subscribe if you want more videos from Kit Guru. Do head to the website to see all the graphs, the photos, and such like. I'm Leo Wardup for Kit Guru. This is PC Specialist Leviathan X.